Hi, my name is Kyle Horn. I'm the Executive Director of the Canyon City Area Recreation and Park District. Uh, this is our third video installment, and again, we are going to discuss funding. We're gonna dive into it a little differently in this video. Now, we wanna go back a little and talk about how we compare with the rest of the state of Colorado and other districts. We are funded at a lower level than just about anyone else. The only one funded lower than us is the Penrose Park and Recreation District. We come in at $39.78 per capita. So if you take our revenue from the taxpayers, divide it by the number of people within the district, you come up with your number. So we're at $39.78. Elizabeth comes in at $61. Bennett per capita, $83.69. Fair Play, which is South Park Recreation District, comes in at just over 90. Strasburg, just over 101. Montrose, which is probably the closest to us demographically, they come in at almost $110 per capita right now. So you can see that we are lower funded. Montrose is almost triple us. So keep that in mind as we go through these next several slides. Now, in order to make it work, because we are funded at a lower level than many other recreation districts, we have only 12 full-time employees, one permanent part-time, two seasonals. Uh, plus, we have over 120 employees uh, that are uh, seasonal and part-time staff. We also have more than 400 volunteers every year that make the district operate. Without the volunteers, it simply wouldn't work and we can't thank them enough year in and year out for all that they do for the recreation district and this community. But here's one of the good stories about the recreation district. Yes, we have never had a tax increase. Our mill levy is still at 3.509. Despite the fact that we are one of the lowest funded, look at what we have done without a tax increase. This is called being successful within your budget, seeking donations, grants, and other contributions. So the Ichabon pool opened up in 66. That was the funding mechanism. Um, but there was no funding for other parks and things like that. We had to basically uh, be very creative. And with that, we were able to add Rouse Park, the Riverwalk, John Griffin Park, Pathfinder, Old Harrison, Shep Open Space, Dog Park, Archery Range, all thanks to generous contributions from residents, as well as other government entities and granting agencies. We have done this all without a tax increase. And not only have we added these facilities, we have improved these facilities throughout the years. And here are some of the facilities that we have improved, such as the Riverwalk Dog Park, the Archery Range, Rouse Park, Harrison Park, Pathfinder, just to name a few, you can see the whole list. And without granting agencies such as Great Outdoors Colorado or Colorado Parks and Wildlife, uh, even the Gates Foundation, uh, El Pomar Foundation, Noon Lines, Black Hills, Newmont Mine, just to name some, we wouldn't be able to make things work financially. There are a lot of success stories about the Recreation District and being wise with taxpayer dollars. We have been great stewards. However, there is a downside. We are not in a position to replace a facility such as the Ichabod Swimming Pool. That is gonna come with a price tag nearly of $15 million if it is a seasonal option. So we don't have that dedicated capital improvement funds. Now these do exist in other communities, Brighton, Rifle, Carbondale, and they do add pools. They do add recreation centers. Why? Because they have that capital improvement fund. We do not. We have been very successful with our budgeting, which has allowed us to be in solid fiscal shape. However, we are no longer in a financial position to accept additional parks or facilities at our current funding levels. We are not in a position to do that. But our budget is tight and we would love to save for capital improvements. But as you can see on a funding level, we're not keeping up with the rest of the state. So that makes it extremely challenging. I want to thank you for your time today and hope you have found this informational. Please make sure you check out all of our videos on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Thank you for your time.